Hi guys, it's Baby Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, thank you guys so much for clicking on my video and watching. Um, I am just sharing what's in my carry-on with you guys today just to kind of give you guys some inspiration on what to bring for your next vacation, what you should pack with you on the plane. I love watching these videos and you guys loved what's in my purse video, the very first one that I did. Um, it was actually with this uh, Neverfull bag and so I just packed it a little bit differently um, with some items for like the plane, um, obviously. And so I've just finished putting it all together. My room is kind of messy because I'm still packing for the trip but I did finish packing what's in my carry-on. So I'm just going to kind of go over um, what I'm bringing with me. So I am using the Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag in the medium size and I absolutely love this bag. I use it every time I go on a trip. It's perfect for just flying just because you can fit a lot in it and you can see it's like pretty stuff full but I absolutely love this bag and I just think that any kind of medium sized tote is perfect for flying. You obviously like don't need to get the Neverfull, I know it's like really expensive but it is like a great bag. Um, so either way I just think that you should use kind of like a medium sized tote. Let's just kind of like jump into the items. So the first thing that's kind of like hanging out is this neck pillow. And um, this is so nice, just like super comfortable. I definitely like recommend using a neck pillow just because you never know like if you're gonna wanna sleep or whatever. I mean, I guess like you wouldn't need it if you're flying like two hours, like I wouldn't really need a neck pillow, but definitely those longer flights is good. I'm going to Hawaii tomorrow and I live in Seattle, so it's about like a, five and a half hour flight so this is like perfect because I'm definitely going to want to sleep on the plane. The next thing that I have that's super important is a water bottle. You obviously can't bring water in it like through security but once you get to the airport you can fill it up and water at the airport is actually really expensive which is stupid so having a water bottle is um, really nice to have. I mean obviously you don't want to bring a water bottle you don't need it but I am going to want a hydro flask when I'm in Hawaii too so might as well just bring it on the plane. The next thing in this is my toiletry bag. This isn't like my main toiletry bag that I have um, in my suitcase, but it does have like some essentials that I like to have with me on the plane. So I'll kind of just run through this super quickly. Um, dry shampoo, super key. I just love dry shampoo. It makes my hair look so much better. So this is the dry bar one. I've shown this before, just I love this one. Um, the next thing is um, my toothbrush. It's kind of stuck in here. So I just have my toothbrush with me. And then I also have um, bronzer. This is the Marc Jacobs one and it is so good. It has a huge mirror inside which is really nice. So if you're like sitting on the plane or in the airport and you just like want to touch up your makeup, um, having a bronzer or just some type of palette with like a mirror is really nice. And then I have, um, just to go with it, my brush. And then I also have um, some concealer. This is the Laura Mercier one in Flawless Fusion in the shade 1W. And I absolutely love this concealer. I'm almost out. I need to get another one. And then um, I just have a couple like skincare products. This is by Epionce and it's really good to just have like sunscreen with you. I'm going to be using this when I go to Hawaii. But also um, I just like having something if I don't want to wear makeup you know to flying or like to the airport and this is really good to have and then I also have some face lotion and I love having eye cream this one is by Sente and it's the illuminate eye cream yeah this is a really good one just like any type of eye cream for like the puffiness or bags under your eyes is really good this is the Mario Badescu facial aloe spray this is also really nice to be able to just like spray on over your face you can literally do it at any time of the day it's just for like dehydrated skin so yeah this is really good Last couple things in here is just a comb. Um, your hair might get messed up. And then also the dry shampoo is good for that. Some hand sanitizer and some chapstick. Oh, I absolutely love this. This is probably like one of my number one things to have in my bag is this uh, lip sleeping mask. This is so good. It's just like super hydrating for your lips and you can just put it on but yeah i absolutely love this lip sleeping mask i mean you're supposed to sleep in it but you don't have to just sleep in it it's 
And then I have some ibuprofen just in case I get a headache. Next topic we'll go on to is snacks. Your girl's got a lot of snacks in her bag. Um, I love having snacks. I also like pretty particular with what I eat. So I like to bring my own stuff. And also it's, again, really expensive to buy at the airport. So I just went to Trader Joe's and I picked up. It's called the Just Mango Slices. And they're unsulfured and unsweetened. So they're literally just dried mango. And then I also have some trail mix. Um, this one has almonds, cashews, pistachios, chocolate, cranberries, and cherries. So this one's really good. And then, guys, my favorite is these smart sweets and these are the peach rings there's three grams of sugar per bag um and there's like 28 grams of fiber which is super good so these literally just taste like candy but they're actually good for you so this is like a really good snack to have and then i have my um pills with me Sometimes I forget to take these in the morning, so it's nice to just have the ones that you're going to take. You can bring all your medication with you, or if you're bringing, like, your your um, suitcase on the plane, you can just put your pills in there. But I like to have, like, the ones that I'm going to take during the day with me. I also have some reading material. Sometimes you get bored on the plane, so reading material is really good. Um, I just have this book called You Are a Badass. I haven't read it yet, but I'm really excited to read it, so I'm bringing this. And then I also got um, the Vogue magazine. This is the November issue with Rihanna on it, and she looks so bomb. So I had to get this. Um, I just picked these up at uh, Barnes & Noble. And then um, I also have my Polaroid camera and some extra film. I love having a Polaroid on vacations. I just think it's so fun to be able to like capture moments. And here I have some jewelry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like to wear hoop earrings a lot. Um, I had these ones in from Urban, which are super cute and fun and chunky. But I just have a couple other ones from Urban my bracelet and my watch so it's nice to just kind of like bring all your jewelry in like a little pouch with you and then i also have my ray-bans with me these ones are my go-to guys i've had these for a couple years i haven't lost them yet i'm so proud of myself i absolutely love these ray-bans i mean literally they have been trending for so long they're so good and just like the perfect size but yeah these are my go-tos. I'm also bringing like a couple pairs of cheap sunglasses just because I'm going to be on the beach and stuff and I don't want my Ray-Bans to get ruined. So yeah, I have my Ray-Bans and then I'll bring some cheap sunglasses. Then I also have some gum. Gum is so good for when you're going on the plane and you're taking off. Sometimes like your ears pop and you kind of just need like a piece of gum. So this one is my favorite. Um, it comes in the hard case. But yeah, I really like this extra pack of gum. And then I also have my wallet with me. You literally do not want to forget your ID or your um, cards or your money or anything because we can't travel without our IDs, so that'd be bad. Um, so bringing just like your wallet, just make sure you have everything that you need, money, cash, all your cards, just you want to have that with you. But yeah, I have both of my wallets with me just because I like to have both of them and they're really small, so like it doesn't really take up much space. So yeah, I have both my wallets and then um, phone charger. This is so important. I want to get um, one of those phone charging cases. I don't have one of those yet, so definitely need, need to invest in that, but just bring your phone charger. And then also so important, headphones. I have AirPods and I am obsessed with my AirPods. These are so great. I need to charge mine before I leave. Make sure all your stuff is charged when you're like packing. Um, just plug it all in the night before or like during the day before and just make sure it's all charged. Mine are currently on red so I need to charge these before the trip tomorrow. I also have the um, what are they? The Beats Over the Ears ones. And I like to bring those on like longer trips, um, especially like international travel. But a quick trip is nice to just have like my AirPods with me. And then this is a phone stand. And this is so nice um, just to be able to prop your phone up. I know they make like a bunch of different style phone stands. But this one is great because you can just like stick your phone on and watch your shows. And another tip that I have is to make sure you download all of your shows 
at least an hour before um, the flight because you want to make sure that everything is downloaded you have things to watch like it can sometimes be kind of boring on the flight and maybe like they don't have the screens for you to watch TV or movies so just make sure you like download your own I think that's just like a really good way to ensure that you know you're not gonna be bored and then lastly in here I just have some makeup wipes and a shout wipe um, some things are kind of just like random in here um, but yep I'll take these out just that and then my sunglasses yeah that's all that I have for my carry-on bag if you guys have any questions I'll make sure to link everything down below so you guys can you know shop it or get ideas from it if you guys have any tips for me um, definitely put those in the comments because I like knowing what you guys bring too but don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me some video suggestions if you guys have any. And I will see you guys in my next video. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.